Greetings, dear actors, soon to be actors and wannabe actors. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for coming to the session about how to become an actor. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the questions you ask during the session. All the ones that are highlighted in yellow, uh, sorry, in orange, we have already answered. So you can watch the video on Facebook for that. And we'll include the link somewhere. Please follow us on Instagram where we post random actor stuff. And if you want to get a little bit of a semi acting class, we have a podcast starring yours truly, Yvonne. It's called The Lazy Actor. Here is the website. It's produced by radioradio.com, which is a member of TAP. And the way the podcast works is every episode, every, I break down a chapter from an acting book. So right now we're going through Audition by Michael Shirtleff. So every episode, we take one chapter in Michael Shirtleff's book, we break it down, give you the Coles notes, and then show you how to actually apply it in your day-to-day -day acting. Sometimes it's with me, and sometimes I have other friend actors who come and contribute. So check it out. Do you have different agents for different types of work or one agent that covers for everything? Every industry is slightly different. What I will tell you is this. Typically, there are film and television agents who focus on film and television. A lot of the big agencies, big kind of as prestigious agencies, pretty much do film and television. There are other agents that focus more on commercials and very small parts. In your acting career, it might not, it might be worthwhile to find an agent that sends you out to commercials because that gives you experience, right? And there's not a lot of stakes because it's different people all the time. In Vancouver, commercial agents and principal, what's called principal agents, were two different things. In Toronto, there's a lot more mix. In Los Angeles, I don't know, but I do know that you have an agent and a manager. And usually a manager is responsible for other things besides film and television. What I would suggest is when you look at agencies, go look at the people on their roster. If you have IMDb Pro, look at the people on their roster. This is what I would do. If you don't have IMDb Pro, find someone who has IMDb Pro and ask, if, ask them if they can look for you, if you can use their password for a minute. Find the agency, see, and in, back, in IMDb, Pro, IMDb Pro, you can, IMDb Pro, you can do this. Find their agency, see who's on their roster and see what kind of credits they have. That'll help you to figure out if that agent is good or not. Typically though, to summarize, if you want to do film and television, find an agent who pretty much does only film and television. And they'll tell you, by the way, whenever I've met with agents or, or I've had messages with agents there, I'll say, listen, do you do commercials or are you mainly film and television? And they'll say, we do most, we have someone who does commercials in our agency or they'll, a lot of times they'll say, no, I only focus on film and television for the kind of the more bigger agencies. So that's it, everybody. Thank you all so much. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, instagram.com slash the actor's place and check out the podcast, The Lazy Actor. You can go to the website.com or if you have a podcast player, just search for thelazyactor.com. Every episode is a different chapter from Michael Shirtless audition. That is season one. Next season, we're gonna do another book. We do the work for you, you lazy bastards. So you don't have to read the books. Okay, thank you all so much. Thank you for being part of TAP and post all your comments and stuff below.